love fighting games. Ever since I laid eyes on Street Fighter 2 and used Chun-Li back when she didn't have a fireball, like, it was a wrap for me. And as a young girl coming up in the fighting game scene, there weren't many other girls around. And you end up adapting to the environment around you and taking on certain behaviors and social perspectives, especially about other girls and women coming into the scene. There's this idea or this notion that girls and women who game have to prove that we're real gamers and not interlopers or trespassers and or, you know, groupies. Pretty stupid, right? Now, I remember subscribing to this crap when I was more active in the fighting game community years ago. Even while um, calling out blatant examples of like double standards and sexism when I saw it and hating them, but I would still, you know, act territorial when other girls came on in into the scene and caring about, you know, what they did outside the scene, you know, like who they fucked or how they looked or whatever, and thinking that their behavior makes all women in the scene look bad, which is not only untrue, it's nonsensical, it's sexist, and it's pretty unethical and misogynistic. Women in the FGC, or fighting game community for short, uh, are, are not a monolithic group. We're not carbon copies of each other. What another woman chooses to do or not do with her pussy is not an indicator of her worth as a person or my worth as a person or any other woman's worth. It's only considered this if one buys into the notion of a woman's value and character being directly tied into what she does with her pussy and how she dresses and so on. This perspective is why sexism in the FGC continues to be an issue. And then we get gendered slurs like proho. Apparently, there's this a sector or a group of young women who go to tourneys to hook up with guys who may or may not be top players, you know, jumping, I guess, from player to player to gain some sort of privilege that, from being with them and who may or may not claim to be gamers themselves. And apparently this is such a horrible thing and makes all women in the FGC look bad. How? Because a few chicks or a group of, you know, groupy chicks or whatever are doing what they do, which is not harming me or anyone else physically, mentally, emotionally, or monetarily? Oh, wait, because sexist gamer bros see that and assume all women in the scene are like those women, which we've already established is illogical and not true and nonsensical. And the answer is to what? Get mad at the groupies? and not the dumbasses who project these gender expectations of women. You'd rather create the problems you rant about than hold the, account the people within the community accountable for how they view women and how they treat women who don't kowtow to this uh, exceptional female who games Vivian James trope. I, I can't state how utterly stupid this line of thinking is. Yet 
it's continually perpetuated in pretty much all aspects uh, within the gaming community and in other aspects of geek and nerd culture. And before anyone gets into their feelings and say, oh, I called them stupid, no, I did not assert that a person who thinks this way is stupid. I'm saying that the line of thinking itself, the concept, is what is stupid. I especially get annoyed and just confounded when other women in the FGC project and perpetuate this nonsense. It's, it's basically the gender equivalent of black people feeling like they have to reassure white people that we're not like those ghetto negros on the welfare and wearing hoodies and drinking all the iced tea, eating all the Skittles and whatnot. It's disgusting and it's pathetic. You're going out of your way to prove that you're exceptional and not like those new niggas over there. And that's not a burden I would put on myself or allow anyone to put on me, nor is it really one that should be put on the entirety of women. Not to mention that all one patriarchal patty has uh, need do is step outside of the restrictions and expectations she puts on herself and others. And guess what? She becomes all types of hoes too. Also not to mention that basically when it comes to being called a hoe, all a girl, all a woman in the scene need do is just wake up and draw a breath or hold a banana in her hand a specific way and she's a hoe. So take that for what it's worth. Women didn't create the term pro-ho or the word ho for that matter. These words were created by patriarchal men in order to shame women for fucking, an activity that some still believe only men can do as much as they want with as many people as they want because God or evil psych or appeals to nature, biological determinism, etc. Now, that's not to say that there aren't women out there who feel that they have to do these things, that they have to have sex with top players and go from player to player to, um, to get a measure of acceptance or validation or even to, you know, survive, like get a meal, you know, a place to stay, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, most likely you see that because they haven't really built up a strong foundation of self-love uh, within themselves. But that doesn't mean that they're worthless or trashy. And also, speaking openly and candidly about, you know, what you, who you're fucking or not fucking or whatever, um, that's really not a value indicator either. And treating sex as if it's something that should be just kept in a room and secluded away from everyone and not talked about is pretty childish and it's almost kind of a puritanical way of looking at sex, period. People have sex. People have sex at tourneys. People go to tourneys to play games, meet up with people, meet new people, and have a good time. And surprise, have sex. Um, and the sexist ashy niggas will talk shit about women they see as pros and pro hoes with the very same mouth they use to eat said ho or pro hoes ass out with, you know, the other day. So miss me with that. And for the women in the scene who look down on those women and go out of their way to shame them, all you're really doing is acting in the same stereotypically feminine way you complain about when other females behave in such a way. And then you'll say, I unironically, 
This is why I don't have many female friends. No, sweetie. You are the reason why you don't have many female friends. It's because you view women as you've been socially conditioned to. Stereotypically and devoid of nuance and fact and saying shit like, oh, you know, bitches be crazy and trashy, et cetera, et cetera. You view women in such a negative light, negative and inferior light, that you go out of your way to prove you're not like those you think are problematic by projecting this by projecting like this image of you know how exceptional you are and how you know you're not like those dirty girls over there which it 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 has a thing of not only attracting like-minded folk you know to give you the validation the validation that it seems like you need but it also just reinforces the status the status quo now everyone does this unconsciously or unconsciously in all aspects of life because so this is nothing new you know but you know then you wonder why a lot of your interactions with other women always go bad and it's you you are the common denominator if you believe that women you know the group that you belong to are the worst if you believe and accept every stereotypically sexist and misogynistic thing that's said and believed about women, you know, inherently being uh, the more inferior uh, sex, more emotional than men, catty, manipul manipulative, gossiping, can't be trusted, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. If you believe in and accept all those things, about the group that you belong to, which means that you pretty much deep down believe those things about yourself. How do you expect to have any sort of meaningful interaction with other women? How? Sexism has always been a problem in the FGC, and we've all projected it and perpetuated it. People still project and perpetuate it. I know some think just because we're all nerds that somehow our community is immune from issues and behaviors most would associate with jock culture, but that's untrue. No group is immune from having issues within it. No person is immune from being influenced by the environment that they're in. No one escapes social conditioning. Nobody. So my question is, why? Why continue giving a fuck about what other people who don't affect your bills and whom you'll never fuck or really get to know as people are doing? Why, why not hold the right people accountable for making assumptions or holding these assumptions about all women in the community in the first place. Because last I checked, becoming good at fighting games or just liking to play games in general has nothing to do with who is sleeping with and sucking off who. So these attempts to police others' actions and make value judgments about them just because of what these women do with their pussies and behaving all territorial and treating the label gamer like it's still this exclusive club, it's pretty juvenile. And I, I thought most of us in the FGC were out of high school. Not to mention that, like, if we're going to be real here, you know, pros, aka sex workers, workers who sell sex for money, get paid money. They get some sort of monetary compensation. And other than games like uh, League of Legends or StarCraft, 
uh, fighting gamers aren't rolling in thousands upon thousands of dollars. Fuck out of here. There's no gold or even platinum or silver to be dug there. So, <sighs> TLDR, basically what I'm trying to say is grow the fuck up. Have a nice day.